After studying over 1,000 brain scans, scientists can officially confirm that stark differences exist in the wiring of male and female brains. The scans show connections in men are mostly confined to the individual hemispheres, while women's brains have much greater connectivity across the left and right sides of the brain. This is the rundown of the day's most interesting stories. Birth control for men could be on the horizon, as scientists have successfully disrupted the transport of sperm during sex, but didn't negatively affect the long-term sexual health of males. The sperm is effectively there, but the muscle is just not receiving the chemical message to move it. The experiments were of course done on mice, so the next step is to develop a contraceptive pill, and then test it on men. But what do you think? Should, or I guess the right question is would, men use a pill-like form of birth control? Icelandic police have shot to death a man who was firing a shotgun at them from his apartment, but what makes this story noteworthy is that it's the first time someone has been killed in an armed police operation ever in the history of Iceland. This, on the other hand, is the list of people killed in the United States by police in 2013, in the month of November alone. A new study shows that immigrants in America are less likely to hurt people, shoplift, ditch school or work, or engage in other anti-social behaviors, despite being poorer, more urbanized, and less educated than people actually born in the United States. A team of astrophysicists has discovered what is essentially a second solar system, containing seven planets, which is more than any other known planetary system, and three of the planets have orbital periods of 331, 211, and 60 days, similar to those of Earth, Venus, and Mercury. Team leader Juan Cabrera says, We cannot stress just how important this discovery is. It is a big step in the search for a twin to the solar system, and thus, also in finding a second Earth. Thanks for watching the rundown of stories that had us talking today, each of which is linked below. For The Daily Conversation, I'm Bryce Plank.